Hello everyone, you are welcome to part 3 of IGCSE questions on functions. You will see questions on functions mostly in paper 1 for exam in May, uh, June and in paper 2 for exam in October, November. In this video, I will solve all the IGCSE questions on function in 2023. Let's jump into the first one. This is um, question 14 from 058022 May June 2023. F of x is given as 5x plus 2. Find F inverse of x. So by now, you should be conversant with this. So you just have to let y be, uh, you just have to let f of x be y. So you have y equals to 5x plus 2. Then let's uh, make x the subject of the formula. So we need to transfer 2 to the left hand side. That will be y minus 2 equals to 5x. Then let's uh, divide both sides by 5. If you do that, you have the value of x to be equals to y minus 2 over 5. And finally, we need to replace x with f inverse of x and y with x. So the f inverse of x will now be x minus 2 over 5. So the final answer is x minus 2 everything over 5. So let's go to the next question. So this is question 20 of paper uh, um, 058023, May, June 2023. We have f of x to be equals to 6x minus 7. Then g of x to be x to the power of negative uh, 3. Find uh, f of x plus 2. Give your answer in the simplest form. So here, what you need to do is to pass in x plus 2 okay so you pass you pass x plus 2 into f of x that is anywhere you see x in f of x so you pass in x plus 2 so that means f of x plus 2 will be equals to so this is f of x so we have 6 then instead of x so we pass in x plus 2 then let's continue minus 7 so this will be 6 times x, 6x, plus 6 times 2, you have 12, minus 7. So if you uh, do this, you should get 6x plus 5. So that will be uh, f of x plus 2. So 6x plus 5. Part B, uh, find f inverse of x. So already we know that f of x x is equals to 6x minus 7 then as usual y will be equals to 6x minus 7 then let's make x the subject of the formula so if you do that your final answer should be y plus 7 over 6 equals to x now we need to replace x with um, f inverse of x and y with x so our final answer will be x plus 7 over 6 that is f inverse of x part c um find x when g of x equals to f of 22 so um f of x is equals to uh this okay let's start from f of x if you scroll up you see that f of x equals to 6x minus 7 then g of x equals to x to the power of negative 3. So the first thing we need to do is to find uh, f of 22. Since f of x is given as 6x minus 7, then f of 22, okay, f of 22 will be equals to 6 into 22, then minus 7. So if you do this, you should get 125, okay? So this is f of uh, 22, okay? So we need to equate f of 22 uh, with uh, g of x. So g of x is given as x to the power of negative 3 and is equals to f of 22. This is f of 22 
a hundred and twenty five. So here we can write a hundred and twenty five to the power of three. So we have x to the power of negative three equals to uh, five to the power of three. So here um, three cancel three. So we are left with x to the power of one. Uh, x to the power of negative one equals to um, five to the power of one. So uh, x is equals to five to the power of negative one. If you multiply uh, the powers by negative one, this is what you get. And this could be written as x to the power of one out of five. So this is the final answer. So let's go to the next uh, question. So we have uh, question 10 from paper 058041, uh, May, June 2023. f of x equals to x minus 4, g of x equals to 2x plus 5, h of x equals to 3 to the power of x. Find uh, a Roman figure 1, f of negative uh, 3. So all we need to do is to pass uh, negative 3 into f of x that is anywhere you see x in f of x so you substitute uh, negative 3 for that so f of negative uh, 3 will be equals to minus 3 minus 4 that will be equals to negative 7 so f of negative 3 is equals to negative 7 so g inverse of x so this is um, g of x so let g of x to be equals to y. So you have y to be equals to 2x plus 5. Let's make x the subject of the formula. So if you do that, you should get y minus 5, everything over 2. This will be your s. This will be your x. And finally, um, you um, substitute um, f inverse of x for x. And then x, you replace x with f inverse of x. And you replace y with x. So the final answer should be x minus 5, everything over 2. So let's go to Roman figure 3. f of x multiplied by g of x multiplied by f of x. So here, you just have to key in these functions. f of x is given as x minus 4. Okay, then multiplied by g of x is given as 2x plus 5 and f of x is repeated again x minus 4 so you need to expand uh, this bracket uh, if you um, you can be somehow smart look at these these two are similar so I can say x minus 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2x plus 5 so I know a shortcut to this you square the first one that is s squared the product of the two, that is x and then negative 4, that will be um, negative 4x multiplied by uh, 2, that will be negative 8x, then square of negative 4, that will be uh, positive 16. So that is the shortcut to this. Then we have to multiply this by 2x plus 5. So if you expand this, you should get your final answer to be equals to 2x to the power of 3 minus 11x to the power of 2 minus 8x plus 80. This should be your final answer. Part B, find x when h of s equals to g f of 2. So here, uh, the first thing you need to do, uh, you can decide to get um, f of 2, then you pass uh, this into uh, g of x and you get your uh, g f of uh, 2 okay so let me write again f of x is equals to x minus 4 so we need to get f of 2 so f of 2 will be equals to 2 minus 4 and that will be negative 2 so this is f of 2 f of 2 is negative 2 then I can now get g f of 2. That is uh, g f of 2, okay, like this, will be uh, equal to g um, of 2. So that's, that is the implication, okay?
So I know that g of x is equals to 2x plus 5. So I need to pass in f of 2. So f of 2, don't forget, is negative 2. So it will be uh, g f of 2 like this. So anywhere I see uh, x, I will pass in f of 2, which is 2, to be 2 uh, into negative 2 plus 5. This will be negative 4 plus 5. And this will be equals to 1. Okay? So this is uh, equals to g uh, of f of 2. And we are told that g f f of 2 is equals to h of x. And we already know that h of x is 3 to the power of x. So let's write it here. h of x equals to 3 to the power of x. So we can say this is equals to this now. That is, 3 to the power of x equals to 1. This is an exponential equation. So I can write 1 to the uh, base of 3. So that will be 3 to the power of x equals to 3 to the power of 0. So this cancel this and x equals to 0. So the value of x is equals to uh, 0. So let's go to another question. This is question 9 of paper 058041. October, November 2023. So we have f of x, g of x, and h of x. So we have to find f of 0. So f of 0 will be, um, okay, let's substitute 0 into this function to be 3 into 0 plus 1. Okay, then uh, into bracket 0 plus 5, into bracket 0 minus 4. So this will be 0, we are left with 1 here, this will be uh, 5, and this will be negative 4. So if you multiply everything, you should get negative 20. So remember, if you got 2, find g inverse of x. As usual, let y to be equals to g of x. So we have y equals to 2x minus 3. We need to make x the subject of the formula. That will be y add 3 equals to 2x can divide both sides by 2 then uh, x will be equals to y add 3 everything over 2 then we need to replace x with uh, g inverse of x and then y with x so the final answer will be x plus 3 over 2 Roman figure 3 find g h of 2 so to get g h of 2 you have to pass h of 2 into g of x. g of x is given as 2x minus 3. Then we need to get, um, and h of x, let me write this, h of x is given as 4 to the power of 2x minus 1. So uh, we need to get g h of x, okay? So I can pass uh, h of x directly into g of x. So that means g h of x will be equals to, so let's go to g of x. We have 2 here, 2. Then instead of x, I will pass in h of x. So that is the shortcut. 4 to the power of 2x minus 1. Then let's continue from g of x minus 3. So I can write this for... Um, as base 2 so i have 2 here which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 then 4 is the same thing as is the same as 2 to the power of 2 that is 4 okay then uh into bracket 2x minus 1 then minus 3 so if you expand this bracket that is you need to multiply the powers 2 and 2x minus 1 so if you do so you should have 2 to the power of 1 Multiply by 2 to the power of 4x minus 2, then minus 3. This is multiplication of indices as they have the same base, okay? So you just pick 1 and add the powers. That will be uh, 4x minus 2 plus 1. That will be 4x, uh, that 4x minus uh, 1, then minus 3, okay? Now, this is 
gh of x but we want to get gh of 2 so that means we need to substitute uh, for x so the value of x is 2 so this will be um, 2 to the power of 4 into 2 that is the value of x minus 1 then minus 3 so 4 times 2 is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 so we have 2 to the power of 7 minus 3 2 to the power of 7 is 1 1 2 8 then minus 3 so the final answer is 1 2 5 part b g of 2x equals to 7 find the value of x so we know that g of x is equals to 2x minus 3 then g of 2x will be equals to 2 into instead of x now we pass in 2x minus 3 then equals to let's expand this bracket 4x minus 3 so this is g of uh, 2x and we are told that it is equals to um, 7 so I can equate this to 7 then I need to make x the subject of the formula so I have 7 add 3 equals to 4x so this will add up to 10 then that means I have 4x equals to 10 then x equals to 10 over 4 which is equal to 5 over 2 which is equal to 2.5 okay so I'll go with 2.5 part c uh, simplify g uh, s squared plus g g of x plus 1 so here you need to pass g of x into g of x because it is a composite uh, function okay so let's write again g of x once again is equals to 2x minus 3 then uh, g s squared will be equals to 2 into x squared minus 3 so this is this one here so i've got the first one then i need to get uh g g of x so this is a composite function as i said earlier so that means we need to pass in uh g of x into g of x so g of x equals to 2x so instead of x now so we need to pass in g of x that will be 2x minus 3 then let's continue uh that will be minus 3 if you expand this you should get 4x and uh, minus 6 minus 3 and that will be 4x minus 9 so now we have g g of x and we have g s squared okay so we can now combine them together these two and add one so we're going to have uh, 2x square, 2x squared minus 3 plus 4x minus 9 plus 1. Okay, so if you simplify this, you should get 2x squared plus 4x minus 11, so which is a quadratic um, function, okay, or expression. But we cannot simplify that because uh, there is no uh, factors okay there are no factors for this okay so we just leave the answer as this so it will be 2x squared plus 4x minus 11 so let's go to the next question so that will be okay part d see have part uh, part d so find h inverse of 16 so uh, to get h inverse of 16 you need to firstly get h inverse of um, x so to get h inverse of x so let's start uh, with h of x so h of x is giving us 4 to the power of 2x minus 1 then as usual so h of x should be y then equals to 4 to the power of 2x minus 1 so here we need to uh, bring down uh, 2x minus 1 because we really need to make it uh, 2x the subject of the formula from there so we need to take ln of both sides or log of both sides so this is our uh, ln y equals to ln uh, 4 to the power of 2x minus 1 okay then I cannot bring this down here so that will give me okay ln y 
equals to uh, 2x minus 1 ln 4. So I cannot divide both sides by ln 4. So that will leave me with uh, ln y over ln uh, 4 equals to uh, 2x minus 1. So I can transfer uh, negative 1 to uh, left hand side. So that will leave me with ln y over ln 4 add 1 equals to 2x. So I can divide uh, both sides by, by 2. So which is the same as multiplying both sides by 1 over 2. Okay. So this will be equal to ln y over ln uh, 4 add 1. Then multiply by 1 over 2. Okay. Equals to x. So now let's replace x with h inverse of x and y with x. So that will leave us with, um, okay, um, h inverse of x, that is uh, for x now, then equals to ln x instead of y over ln 4, add 1, then multiplied by a half, okay? So this is h inverse of x. Now, we cannot get h inverse of 16 now. So that means we need to substitute uh, 16 into this equation or function, okay? So that will be ln 16 over ln 4, add 1, multiplied by 1 over 2, okay? So uh, this is 2 to the power of um, 4, and this is 2 to the power of 2, okay? So if you do this, you can, okay, let's simplify that. So this will give us ln, okay, let's write 16 to base 4, so that will be ln, 4 to the power of 2, it will be easier, over ln 4 plus 1, okay, multiply by 1 over 2, I just have to show you so that you can understand it better, okay, let's come down here, so I can uh, drop the 2, so it's the same thing as 2 ln 4 over ln 4, add 1, multiply by 1 over 2, okay, so ln 4, we cancel ln 4. I'm left with 2. Okay, so 2 add 1. That will be 3. 3 times 1 over 2. Okay, 3 times 1 over 2. So that will be 1.5. So that will be 1.5. So that is the final answer. So let's scroll down. We have the, uh, another question here. If uh, f of x equals to 3x plus 1 into x plus 5 into x... Uh, minus 4 that is f of x so this can be written in the form uh, f of x equals to a ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d find the value of each of a b c and d if you expand this and this you should get 3x squared um, plus 16x plus 5 and you need to multiply it by x minus 4 so if you do this as well you should get your final answer to be 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus uh, 59x then uh, minus 20 so if you compare this with this um, expression here or this function so you see that a is equals to 3 b is equals to 4 c is equals to negative 59 and d is equals to negative 20 so we can write the answers here we have um, 3 we have 4 we have negative 59 and we have negative 20 so I think that's the end of that question. So let's go to another question. So this is question 11 from paper 058042, to October, November 2023. F of X is equals to this, D of X equals to this, and H of X equals to this. Find uh, G of three. So you just have to pass in three into uh, G of X. So that will be uh, 3 minus 1 all squared, and that will be 2 squared, which is equals to 4. 
So the final answer here is 4. Okay, part B. Find f of x minus 2, giving your answer in the simplest form. So um, f of x minus 2 will be equal to, uh, this is f of x, that will be 1 minus uh, minus uh, 3. Then instead of x, so we we'll put x minus 2. If you expand this, you have 1 minus 3x plus 6. So this will be equal to um, 6 add 1, 7 minus 3x so you're going to have 7 minus 3x then part c uh, find f inverse of x so f of x will be equals to 1 minus 3x okay then as usual y will be equals to 1 minus 3x okay so let's make x the subject of the formula so we have 3x to be equals to 1 minus y so x will be equals to 1 minus y over 3 okay so uh we can now replace x with um f inverse of x and y with x so if we do that we should get f inverse of x should be equals to 1 minus x over 3 part d g of x minus g of x multiplied by f of x equals to this expression find the value of each of a b and c okay uh we know that we need to find g f of x and um okay we already know g of x and then g of uh f of x okay so then you subtract them and try to simplify them to be this and you compare the two expressions okay so we know that g of x is equals to x minus 1 squared. Then f of x is equals to 1 minus 3x. Okay. So to get g f of x now. Okay. So you should be uh, used to this. Okay. This will be equals to uh, open bracket 1 minus 3x. Okay. So we are passing f of x into uh, g of x okay so g of x is this x okay so anywhere we see x we pass in f of x which is 1 minus 3x okay then minus 1 okay so we need to square everything then we need to expand this but before then we can simplify this this will be equals to uh, 1 minus 3x minus 1 so um, obviously 1 we cancel out negative 1 Okay, so we are left with um, negative 3x all squared, okay, and that will be equals to 9x squared, okay, so we have found g f of x, so we can now uh, get this expression now, so that will be g f of x, which is 9x squared, then minus the product of g of x and f of x, so that will be x minus 1 squared, multiplied by 1 minus 3x so if you do this you should get 9x squared minus open bracket so if you try to expand this one first uh this x minus 1 uh, squared using the shortcut so that will be x squared then negative 1 times x that will be negative 1x times 2 that will be negative 2x then add uh minus 1 squared will be plus 1 Okay, so this is the expansion of x minus 1 squared. Then we are left with uh, 1 minus 3x. Okay, so everything will be in a bigger bracket as well. So we need to expand these two again. So if you do that, you should get 9x squared minus all in brackets. You should have um, x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 3x cubed then plus 6x squared minus 3x okay so this is what you should get if you expand this so we can simplify this uh, further so this will give us 9x squared okay then minus open bracket 7x squared 
okay because we have s squared here and uh, we also have 6x squared here yeah? so they add up to 7 so then minus 3x cube uh, minus 5x plus 1 okay let me uh, retake that so this will be 9x squared minus open brackets you have 7x squared plus 5x because we have um okay minus 5x rather minus 5x minus 5x because we have negative 2x and negative 3x then we have minus 3x cubed then we have plus 1 so we need to uh, expand this bracket by multiplying through by, uh, by minus 1 okay so this will give us 9x squared okay minus um, 7x squared then plus 5x then plus 3x cubed then minus 1 okay so uh, this and this will give us 2x squared that's 9x squared minus 7x squared then plus 5x uh, then plus 3x cubed minus 1 so if you rearrange this you should get 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 so if you compare this with the given expression here you see that a is equals to 2 from here we are starting from uh, s squared coefficient of s squared which is 2 here then b is equals to 5 and c is equals to negative 1 so let's slow down and write the answers here a equals to 2 b is equals to 5 and c is equals to negative 1 this is uh very interesting so still on that paper we have part e find h of x minus f of x giving your answer as a single fraction in its simplest form okay so h of x is giving us 3 over x and f of x is giving us 1 minus 3 x so uh, to do this it will be 3 over x minus into bracket 1 minus 3x so you have to do this then we need to expand the uh, bracket that will be 3 over x then this will turn to minus 1 then plus 3x okay so you can put this and this to be over 1 so the LCM will be x so x divided by x that will be 1 1 times 3 that will be 3 then uh, x divided by 1 that will be x multiplied by 1 that will be negative um, x then x divided by 1 that will be x multiplied by 3x that will be add 3x squared okay so uh, if you simplify this further you should get 3x squared minus x plus 3 over x so this will be the final answer 3x squared minus x plus 3 everything over x so let's go to uh, part f h of x to the power of n equals to 3x to the power of 7 find the value of n so we know that h of x is giving us 3x to the power of 7 okay so uh, since we know this and uh, uh, that is h of x3 sorry uh, I think there is a mistake here let's take this again so h of x is giving us 3 over x okay so uh, we can get h of x to the power of n okay that will be uh, 3 over x to the power of n so h uh, of x to the power of n is equals to this I've got h x to the power of n which is this so I can equate it to uh, 3 x to the power of 7 
So that means 3 uh, over x to the power of n should be equal to 3 x to the power of 7. So 3 will cancel out here. So we are left with 1 over x to the power of n then equals to x to the power of 7. So we can write this as x to the power of negative n to be equals to x to the power of 7. So this is uh, equation of indices again. So the base will cancel out. The, uh, this base will cancel out this base. So we have minus n to be equals to 7, which implies that n equals to negative 7. So n will be equals to negative 7. This is the final question. Question 6 from paper 058043, October, November 2023 f of x is given as this, g of x is given as this, and h of x is given as this. Find the value of f of 2. Okay, so all what you need to do is to substitute this into 2 into f of x. So that will be equals to 5 into 2 minus 3. That will be equals to 10 minus 3 and that is equals to 7. So the answer here is um, 7. Roman figure 2. Find g f of 0 0.5. So we need to firstly find uh, g f of x. So this is g of x. So um, we'll put f of x into g of x. That is, anywhere we see x in g of x, we put in uh, f of x so g f of x okay will be equals to um, let's start from um, g of x that will be 64 then to the power of x now so it will be uh, 5x minus 3 okay so that will replace x okay so uh, we can now find g f of 0 0.5 now so that will be 64 to the power of 5 into 0 0.5 then minus 3 so you may want to put this into your calculator or better still you can um, open the brackets okay so if you solve this you should get uh, 64 to the power of minus 1 over 2 okay if you do 5 times 0 0.5 minus 3 you should get minus 0 point um, okay five okay then uh finally you can write this this is negative index fractional index and negative index so you can write it as one over 64 to the power of a half okay which is equals to one over uh this will be square root of 64 okay i want to believe you know that so this will be equals to 1 over 8. So that will be the final answer here. Okay. So uh, part B, find H inverse of X. So as usual, uh, you need to start from um, H of X. Okay. And substitute uh, and replace uh, F of H of X with Y. So H of x is 2 over x plus 1 okay so let's write that so h of x is equals to 2 over x plus 1 then you now have y equals to 2 over x plus 1 so if you make um x the sort of formula so it should be x plus 1 will come here equals to 2 over y will come here then you need to transfer positive 1 to the right hand side. So you have x to be equals to 2 over 3 minus 1. So this is uh, what you get. Then finally, uh, replace x with h inverse of x. h inverse of x. Okay. Then, sorry, this is 2 over y. Okay. Then equals to... 2 over x now minus 1. So this is our final answer. So 2 over x and minus 1. 
So let's go to part C. Find x when g of x equals to 1 over 2 to the power of 5. So we know that g of x is equals to 1 over, sorry, equals to um, 64 to the power of x. Okay, so since g of x equals to this, so that means 64 to the power of x will be equals to 1 over 2 to the power of 5 as this gives uh, g of x. Okay, so we can write them uh, to uh, base 2. So 64 will be 2 to the power of 6. That is 64 and to the power of x. Then equals to this will be written as 2 to the power of negative 5. So if you expand the bracket here, you have 2 to the power of 6x equals to 2 to the power of negative 5. This is equation of indices. The base will cancel, uh, this base will cancel out this base. So you have 6x equals to negative 5. x equals to negative 5 over 6. So you have negative 5 over 6. Okay, part D, which is uh, the last part. Okay, write a single fraction in its simplest form. Okay, 1 over f of x minus h of x. So don't forget that g of x remains 64 to the power of x and uh you know f of x right so f of x is equals to i think that should be one okay let's uh, scroll up and check again f of x okay so f of x equals to 5x minus uh, 3 So we can now simplify this. So f of x equals to 5x minus 3. So uh, this will become 1 over f of x, that is 5x minus 3, then minus h of x. Uh, sorry, we need h of x. h of x is, um, I think that should be 2 over x plus 1. Let's see. Okay, that is h of x 2 over x plus 1 so that is what we need okay so I can remove this one so we only need h of x h of x which is equals to 2 over x plus 1 so this will give us minus 2 over x plus 1 so we can now find the LCM the LCM will be the product of the two 5x minus 3 into x plus 1 so the uh, LCM divided by this so this will cancel out this you are left with x plus 1 x plus 1 times 1 multiplied by 1 remains x plus 1 okay then minus this LCM again divided by uh, x plus 1 this will cancel this then you are left with 5x minus 3 multiplied by multiplied by 2 so that will be 2 into 5 x minus 3 so if you expand this uh, bracket we're going to have x plus 1 then minus uh, 10x okay that is negative 2 times 5x then negative 2 times negative 3 that will be plus 6 okay so uh, everything over 5x minus 3 into x plus 1 okay so uh you can simplify this further okay so uh six add one that will be seven that is six and one add up to seven then this x minus uh 10x that will be negative 9x then over 5x minus 3 okay into x plus 1 so that will be the final answer or you may want to expand the denominator to uh, leave it in uh, quadru as a quadratic expression no troubles so you can leave it as well you can leave it like this as well 7 minus 9 x over 5 x minus 3 then into x plus 1 okay so this is the end of uh, this video so in the next video we're going to take another topic have your fingers crossed.